Hello YouTube, it is uh, the day after Christmas, it is the 26th, um, I'm just doing a short video just for those of you out there who are running methanol injection, got my uh, snow performance boost juice down there on the floor, uh, basically uh, what this video is about is just to uh, give you guys a way of how do you know your methanol is actually pumping. Uh, when you don't have a flow gauge uh, or maybe you don't have an indicator light like I do down here when the controller actually goes off. Uh, the indicator light's that little LED to the left of the arming switch. Um, because that alone doesn't tell you that you're actually pumping anything. All that light tells you is that the controller is telling the pump to pump. That's it. So if the pump has a hard blockage uh, see a kink in the line, clock nozzle, um, something in the lines, anything that blocks flow, then your controller doesn't really have a way of knowing that unless you happen to have a flow gauge installed in the middle. Typically that would install right before the nozzle uh, at, the, uh, at your intake. So um, the way you check uh, that you are actually pumping methanol is you want to look on your gauges at uh, this gauge right here. You want to look at the, let's see if I can get this in man when I'm driving, so short term fuel trim. It's the upper right hand corner one. Alright, so short term fuel trim uh, basically is a monitor for real time changes in fueling, uh, whether or not you're adding fuel or taking fuel away, positive or, or negative. And essentially how you know if your methanol is working, how it's actually pumping in is you should see when you're under wide open throttle, when this light's on telling you that, that the controller is saying pump methanol, you should see um, the ECU pull fuel because it's going to start going rich once that methanol starts pumping. So it's going to pull fuel from your injectors. That's what you're going to look for. You're going to typically look from anything around a negative 4 or negative 10. Or you can sometimes even see a negative 20. Like on here, my max is negative 28 um, and positive 22. Um, so that positive 22 is probably a lot of fuel prior to 10 PSI is being added by the system and then getting pulled once your methanol starts spraying. And that's basically how you tell. Unfortunately, I'm in uh, a lot of traffic right now, so I'm not going to be able to show you uh, right offhand now uh, with all these cars around. Uh, but that's basically how you're going to tell. It's not unheard of to see only something like negative 4 or negative 8 while it's spraying, but um, anything that's definitely negative. And you can, you can tell what your own nominal numbers are supposed to be by uh, disabling your, um, your methanol. And then uh, looking at the gauge when you go full throttle and see how much in the positive it goes, adding fuel. Actually, I might be able to show you right now. Since I'm already in, I'm in fifth gear. And I'm going to floor it. And I should see that number go positive for a short bit. And once at 10 PSI, I should go negative. 10 PSI. Say negative 8, negative 7. That's basically how you do it if you don't have a flow gauge of any type so you know uh, what's going on. It's, it's always very important to look at your AFRs, look at your boost, look at your air inlet temp. Um, I also happen to look for uh, ignition correction um, just because I want to see that my timing is going, is being advanced or not. Uh, when you get, I also, by the way, look at knock count, lower right hand corner. If you start getting knock, if a guy, like I have no knock count right now because my gas is fine, methanol's working, um, so I'm, I've got 93 octane running like it should. Uh, if I had bad gas, that knock count would be through the roof like 6 to 8 or something like that on that pull. And then you'd start seeing ignition correction. It would be pulling timing, so I'd get negative numbers on the ignition correction. Right now, if you look at it, all I got is positive 1.58 is the max and zero for net. So it hasn't pulled timing because everything's right on point. Of course, my uh, AITs are uh, 62 degrees. Uh, actually, it's 58 out today, believe it or not, day after Christmas, and it's almost 60. 
So uh, that's pretty much it. Just a short clip. Hopefully that's, uh, that gives you guys some good information, uh, especially when you don't happen to have a gauge uh, to view it. Um, it's very important that, to make sure that your uh, methanol is pumping like it's supposed to. Uh, you could end up running into an extremely lean condition if it doesn't pump at wide open throttle and uh, potentially detonate your motor. So I uh, hope you guys like this short little clip. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them uh, below. And I uh, hope all you guys are having a good, uh, good holiday. Bye-bye.